Stargazer Gundam. What up? It's Amaro94 again, and today we're gonna talk about the high grade 1144 scale TT Honey brand Stargazer Gundam. So, of course, this is another knockoff brand, and you're gonna expect some issues from here and there, but I did use some glue and painting and stuff. So, without further ado, let's talk about the articulation and the details. So before we talk about the articulation, as you can see, I never did use the stickers that it provided. And of course, if you have the Stargazer Gundam 2, whether it may be the Bandai version or the TT Hongli brand, you have seen that it has two sticker sheets which provides yellow uh, stickers for the lines here onto the whole MS or the mobile suit. Or you can put on the black or grayish version onto the mobile suit and why would we use the black or grayish uh, sticker we can use the gold one or we don't use both of them I just did use um, my own uh, 4k marker if you have seen on my other videos on my page please do like them I think it we really uh, put on some great results it doesn't really uh, strike that much if I did use a Gundam metallic gold marker I think it won't be uh, as good as this one uh, enough of kissing my own ass let's look at the articulation so the head is on a ball joint it's not so tight so it can go in, can go up and down it can swivel of course and it does what a ball joint does so for the shoulder joint it has a ball joint here and the shoulder pad uh, shoulder armor I mean can uh, has a hinge here so the arm can go up but if you go further it will pop off so I'm gonna put it back there and as the kit is falling apart now let's go back to the articulation so with enough uh, caring for the kit it has a swivel below the shoulder, it has one jointed elbow, a ball joint on the wrist of course, and for the torso, it doesn't have any stomach joint, let's remove this ring first, it doesn't have a stomach joint, but it has a peg onto the waist so it can go side to side, but if you, if you pull it up a little, it can go up and down like that, and not so much side to side it can go like this so for the waist part I did glue this part because uh, it's coming off it pops off every time and the front skirt wiggles around since I cut in the middle that is the issue so for the side skirts it has a swivel here but it can go outside also that much and the back skirt doesn't move at all and for the leg as you can see it's popping off right now let me pause for a bit get back here get, get, just stick in there god damn it so for the leg it has a ball joint onto the hip and it has a separate joint for no reason at all so on the ball joint for the hip it can go forward that far can go back that far can go out that far for splitting and for the legs it has a double joint and has a great bend there but still quite awkward here because for the too much edges and for the feet I mean the foot it can go up like that down like that and it has great pivots and of course for the gimmick it has uh, thrusters here, it can go up like that, maybe too much, but if you uh, make it parallel a little, you can make it look like going out from the spaceship. And so as you can see, you can uh, see a smiling face over there, but this has a joint, this is a joint, a groove, I mean, because for the main attraction for the Stargazer Gundam, the ring no not the movie the ring 
the weapon uh, this is considered a weapon so for the articulation it has a lot of amount of articulation so it can go out like this you can extend like that and can go out like this and twist like that and twist in here and twist in here and do something crazy it can swivel all over and I don't know it can do a lot of stuff and maybe I cannot explain it because it has too many options since we have talked about the uh, articulation of the whole kit, why won't we talk about the accessories? 1. Standard high grade stand Weirdly enough, it has a beam gun thing. I don't think this was in the OVA series. One set of ring effects for the ring weapon of Stargazer it has an articulation roaming around and stupidly enough but it looks cool when it's on the Stargazer Gundam. So I'm just gonna put it on his butt plug. We're gonna take a stand and just put it in there also and if you push it down a little more and there we go. Is on the stand now so technically that's just it for the accessories so I'm gonna show you some action poses before I end this video action pose action pose action pose so guys you want if you want something like this a gumpla that uh, stands out and on the display shelf and nothing much when it comes to some accessories, you can get this Gompla. It uh, it depends on you whether you want the Bandai version or the TT Honley version. Uh, I think, of course, the Bandai version is still better, but still pricey. I gotta tell you, it is pricey. But that's not an issue if you want the original one, right? So yeah, that's it for the review. And yeah, don't don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. Like my page too on Gundam Reviews and others. Just like that. You can look onto the description box for the link. So that's it guys. Peace. Thruster pose. Thruster. Beam.